welcome back to another vlog so it's sunday morning we're getting ready to go to church and sunday mornings always end up being kind of chaotic because this like parking situation for our building it's like a driveway so if you want to use your car you have to like plan ahead and you have to like get out of the driveway before other people are coming in uh, so this morning I had to go out early and move the car I perfectly performed a parallel park for the first time in like three years so I'm very happy about that <laughs> but unfortunately yeah for our church we do have to drive there it's not directly in our city it is a little bit of a drive away but that's okay because I mean <laughs> other than Sundays driving to church we really don't drive at all so I'm just making some breakfast right now my every single day breakfast that I eat almost every single day it's a, a bit of oatmeal with some protein powder and some Greek yogurt and that's that's what I have literally every morning Good evening guys so it's been a little bit of time since I picked up the camera last um, we went to church it was really nice except the guy who was doing the sermon today I I have a really hard time understanding him he speaks very fast he uses more slang than um, the other pastors from what I've noticed and I don't know I feel like He's just more like all over the place and so it's a little more difficult to follow with him but overall it was really nice and then it was kind of fun because after church they announced that there was a food truck outside so then we got some lunch at the food truck and I think that's just so much fun you know just like really fun community things to do with the church and then it was just so warm and sunny for the first time in a while so of course we took advantage of that we went for a walk um like by the old city and it was so beautiful it was really nice we came back i was on the phone with a friend for a while catching up which was really nice i did my workout i had my shower okay and one thing is that my hair so i dyed my hair like a month ago if you guys remember and it was so much darker than it is now it has faded so fast like it has faded so fast and i want to dye it again like dark because i did really like it dark for the short amount of time that it lasted but what i have noticed is that my hair is very like red toned now from the dye and so i got some purple shampoo from dm the other day and i tried it except i don't know if it actually did anything or maybe this is just one of those things that you have to like consistently do for it to actually make a difference also i don't know how it's going to work on brown hair because usually purple shampoo it's more just for blondes but yeah i'm just studying right now going through my anatomy flashcards on anki this is from the first section the first tile which is going through like basics you know different names of different joints the different axes the different like tissues connective tissues all all that kind of stuff in the body different types of cartilage different types of bones all things like that we did finish this section a few weeks ago in my classes but i need to like continue reviewing it until my exams otherwise yeah because like i'm going through it now it's been probably a week since i've gone through this one last and there's a lot of stuff that i am not remembering so it's definitely important 
to continue with your studying. I mean, of course, this isn't the most relevant in my classes right now, but it's very important because these are like the basic foundations of everything. What we're going through in my anatomy class right now is the actual bones and little, all the little different points and divots on every bone <laughs> and it's a lot. I'm getting so much use out of my skeleton, which I'm really happy because, you know, I bought my skeleton like three weeks ago and I hadn't used it yet. So I was really wondering like, mm, am I gonna get use out of my skeleton or did I just like waste 75 euros buying it? But no, I'm definitely getting some good use out of it now. I was studying with my skeleton and my husband last night and it was so much fun. We just had like a little study party. We had some music, I had my little skeleton, and then my husband would say like the name of like whatever. Maybe it was the tuberculum myos and then I had to show him where the tuberculum myos was. And I think that's a really good effective way of studying right now. Definitely not so advanced for me actually like learning the stuff. I think what we'll do this week to study the little different notches in the bones is that he will point to the spot and I will have to tell him what it is. But I think for now, for me to get a little bit more familiar with it, we're gonna do it this way and then we'll switch. last night we ended up just studying bones mr bones our skeleton and yeah it was fun and then i was so exhausted i was so exhausted i just like fell asleep immediately even though that evening i had been drinking my leftover coffee from the morning even then i just fell asleep immediately i had a really good night's sleep actually which is weird i feel like sometimes when i just like don't really care about avoiding caffeine in the evening that's also sometimes when i have an amazing night's sleep i don't know why so it's now monday morning my classes start a little bit later today they just start at 10. i got ready i'm studying a little bit just like reviewing the bones a little bit more before i go to class we're not getting like tested right away on this stuff but like i said in a couple of vlogs before i think is that this teacher he'll just like draw names out of a hat and then if your name is drawn then you have to stand at the front of the class and he'll ask you questions and you have to know the answers so i think that fear is very beneficial for everybody to like you know really encourage them to learn because they don't want to be embarrassed in front of the class and neither do i i'm not gonna like be super embarrassed if i don't remember like one little thing but if i'm standing up there totally blank minded can't remember anything that's when it's a little embarrassing also today is so beautiful it's so sunny which i wasn't expecting the weather changed and i was out in my garden this morning watering my plants my spinach is growing so well and I'm so happy about it and I can see like the little tiny buds of my lettuce leaves coming up. Oh, and another question. Please, please help me. Our rose bush is covered in little green aphids and I don't know if it's so bad. I mean, obviously it doesn't look very nice and I think they're kind of like sucking the life out of the new growth on my roses. And before I made a little like natural pesticide concoction it was some dish soap mixed with water mixed with like water that had been soaking with like hot chilies so it was like hot spicy water and dish soap basically and then i would just like spray the plant and that worked a little bit but not that much so if you guys know any ways to actually get rid of aphids 
I mean, I would prefer in like a, a bit of a more natural way. I don't want to be spraying like harsh chemicals or anything. But yeah, that would be great. If you guys know, please help me. <laughs> this morning I woke up to this. <laughs> just, just bones all over the place. I guess that is the life that I have chose for myself for the next few years. And it's also really funny because I was, you know, studying all of the bones with my husband last night and he was saying like, he was saying, man, you know, when you're a physiotherapist, I'm also gonna be a physiotherapist because I'm learning all these bones too. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about my Ausbildung, leave it in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Sometimes you guys are leaving comments and it's like, I have no idea and I got to do quite a bit of research, but I try. I, I will try and answer your questions to the best of my abilities. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.